All right. So I think this is everyone that's going to be joining. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Alex Stroop, and I'm a graduate assistant at the Office of College Programming Orientation. Um, today's webinar is going to be all about campus safety and security. And joining us today, we have Officer Felicia Lee. Um, so she'll be giving a little presentation, kind of talking to you guys a little bit about safety on campus. And then at the end of this webinar, we will open it up for questions. Okay, you ready, Alex? Yep. Yeah. And then if you guys have any other questions throughout the presentation, feel free to utilize the chat box. Um, also joining us is Whitney Hedge, and she'll be able to kind of take over the chat box and answer any questions as we kind of go through the presentation. But again, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, we're excited to meet you guys and get started on this presentation. I'm going to go ahead and let Officer Felicia Lee introduce herself, and then we'll get started on the presentation. Good afternoon. My name is Officer Felicia Lee from the University of Chicago Police Department. I'm with the crew unit. Thank you for inviting me to speak with you all, and I look forward to having you around on campus. Alex, you have the, the slide for me. Yep, I'll go ahead and get that up. All right, can you guys see that on your end? Officer Lee, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it now. Cool. So we can go ahead and get started. Okay. Cool. cool. So yeah, like I said, today's session is going to be all about safety and security at the University of Chicago. Um, Officer Lee has a little PowerPoint presentation. She's just going to kind of walk you through and explain how safety and security here works at UChicago. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to utilize the chat box and then at the end we will also open it up for questions and answers. So for our first slide guys to get us started, um, the, the Department of DDS has several, we have several programs and resources to help you successfully transition as a student at UChicago. I'd like to take a moment to cover the umbrella services that we are offered. The University of Chicago Department of Safety and Security has three main areas that are student centered. One is the campus safety, and under campus safety is safety ambassadors and emergency phones. Our next main area is University of Chicago Police Department, and we have transportation and parking. The next slide, um, Alex, for me. Our next slide, we're gonna talk about our safety ambassadors. The University of Chicago contracts security authorities who are posted throughout the campus area to provide additional safety to the campus. Campus safety ambassadors are trained campus security authorities who are assigned to exterior locations throughout the campus area. The campus safety ambassadors shows, um, provides high visibility and their uniform, so they'll be like in that green jacket as you see on the picture. And they are identified as the members of the campus safety team. Campus safety ambassadors are on a post every day from 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon through 8.30 a.m. at night. I mean, in the morning, a.m., I'm sorry, my apologies. They do not conduct enforcement activities and they do not have the authority to make arrests. Campus safety ambassadors provide the following services. They provide safety escorts along with um, CSOs. We have CSOs here, it's called community um, safety officers and also UCPD. They also provide directions and campus information and they quickly contact the University of Chicago Police Department and other Department of Safety and Security Services. Okay, Alex, next slide. All right, here we're gonna talk about our emergency phones. So we have over 380 emergency phones around campus. We have a hundred um, that's equipped with um, the cameras. So if you see the, the camera on top, we have this uh, videotaping that's in the area. 
And also it divides, it provides a direct link to the University of Chicago Police Department. So it goes directly to our call center. And if you hit that, if you see the red button on the picture, it goes, if you hit that red button, it goes straight to our dispatch center. And you can even be, if, even if you don't know where you're at in your location, just hit it. And we will also, and um, we will have an officer uh, respond to your area where you at. The Youth Chicago Safe application, guys. This is very important. So if anyone want to take um their phone out while we're um while I'm talking, and you can go download this um Safe app on your phone. So in um 2018, the Campus Safety Division launched the Youth Chicago Mobile Safe app. This is a free app and quickly assessing safety information by the tap of an icon. The Campus Safety Division and the app armor have developed this app to provide information for emergencies and links to safety resources. Some of the provided services are direct calling capabilities for the University of Chicago Police Department and also Chicago um, Police Department, CPD and UCPD with the tap of an icon. So that would be the emergency contact button at the top, the first one. Also, it provides the blue mobile blue light. That's the next icon that, about the e-phones that we just um, saw previously in the previous slide. And that, which, that sends your location and calls to the UCPD simultaneously. We also have the friend walk and the links to the safety resources. So the friend walk, um, if someone else download the app and they have um, this with you, they can also watch you walk in live time. So if you want to see, if you want someone to know if you get somewhere safely from point A to point B, for example, you might be studying late um, at the library or you leave a one dorm to another, or you just going around campus. If you're going to maybe a restaurant or somewhere on campus that you need to go to or take care of business in one to another and it's late. If you want to use this option, you can. And if you don't have someone that can watch you in live time or assist you, a friend or a family member, then you can always call UCPD. And we can, we our dispatch center, they can watch you walk in live time as well. The app also gives the user the ability to report a crime or speak to our dispatch center. So you can report a tip on there as well if you want to remain anonymous and you see something suspicious or you see something going on. Also, you Chicago um, Safe app provides information for emergencies and what to do in a case of an emergency and also have access to transportation information can be accessed on there as well. And also guys, our Facebook is on there. So we always ask people to follow us on Facebook. So you can check us out on Facebook and see all the good things that we're doing around in the area and with the community. And it's already, and it's also a good resource too. We also post um, informational um, things as well for you to know what's going on around you. Okay, Alex, next one. So this right here is the um, transportation um, safety. So the, there are frequent um, shuttles are available to help you travel around campus and the High Park area. First, I'm gonna talk about the UGO daytime shuttle. The university provide free daytime shuttle service around campus and portions of the neighboring communities. The shuttles are a safe and convenient way for all students, faculty and staff to get around. And for the UGO night shuttle, the university provides a comprehensive nighttime shuttle service that travels throughout the campus as well as the Hyde Park neighborhood. The night ride shuttle routes are within one or two blocks, um, nearly every building on campus. The routes are designed with Pacific University destinations in mind and to make traveling around campus more convenient. All college housing residence halls are designated as a stop. The university partners with the Chicago Transit Authority, which they call the CTA, to provide three area bus routes. So one is gonna be 171, 172, and 192 Express. There are several, there are also several other CTA routes that service the area for Pacific bus stops, they routes, hours or wait times and um, you can visit the transitchicago.com for that information and you want to plan your route 
before you leave and familiarize yourself with um, these two links on the bus.uchicago.edu. Also, um, guys, they have um, the Lyft um, Ride Smart Share, and the first 10 rides are free for that. So the Office of Transportation and Parking also began a pilot program with Lyft, a ride sharing company with the intended focus to improve sustainability and provide different transportation options for community members. They are discounted Lyft ride services available to anyone within a university community through the use of a voucher code. The partnership has provided to be successful and well received amongst the university community. So the first 10 rides, guys, they are free. And then after that, they give you a discounted rate. But you once again, you want to visit transitchicago.com. <clears throat> the University of Chicago Police Department have approximately 100 full-time commissioned police officers. We're all full law enforcement services. We are dual accredited by the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, which they call CALEA, and uh, International Association of Campus Law Enforcement Administrators, which is iCALEA. Our campus is the only campus law enforcement who has dual accreditation. And that means that uh, we have to bound by Pacific standards and the standards are assessed to make sure that we're complying by those standards. So we're the only campus um, certified uh, with this uh, program. Also, um, everyone, you wanna program our phone number in your phone. It's 773-702-8181, 773-702-8181. If you're on a campus and you will buy emergency phone, and for example, maybe you forgot your cell phone or you can't get to anyone, you're gonna dial from a campus phone, one, two, three. Once again, if you dial from a campus phone, it's gonna be one, two, three. And if it's a non-emergency and you still need some type of assistance, you're gonna dial 28181 from a campus phone. 28181 from a campus phone. Also, we are all trained and certified by the state of Illinois and our UCPD headquarters. Our station is located at 850. East 61st Street. So we sit on the corner of 61st and Drexel in that glass building, 850 East 61st Street. On this slide, it's going to talk about UCPD patrol area. So we go north as 37th Street, and we go south as 64th Street. We go east all the way to the lake and then west all the way to Cottage Grove. All right, UCPD Partnerships and Student Resources. University of Chicago Dean on Call Program. So the Dean on Call is the university official responsible for providing referrals, information, and support to students during an emergency. The Dean on Call will monitor an incident to make sure that adequate support continues even after the incident passes. The university official is on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to provide students with support and guidance. The Dean on Call program is collaborative effort between campus and student life and the University of Chicago Police Department, which is us. So we all play a role in helping each other out. <clears throat> the partnerships and student resources. So the University of Chicago has a robust set of systems and practices that support and care for our students and members of the university community. The university responds quickly when a student needs help. So that's um, daily life, um, that falls under housing, academics, programming, the responsive care, it's gonna be well-being checks, Dean on call program, student health services, student counseling, spiritual life, university disciplinary affairs, violence prevention, drug and alcohol, and missing student policies.
community engagement. That's the specialized unit that I'm in, that's which is called crew. So it's community relations unit, UCPD's community relation unit, crew, CRU, helps build and strengthen relationships between members of the U Chicago community and UCPD through education, intervention, and policing initiatives. The crew works with members of the community to identify and analyze crime hazards and produce strategies to help minimize them. The crew works with the four area aldermen for programming strategies. So we have uh, four area aldermen. We have the third one. We have the uh, one that's called the third area and the fourth area. And but we both both hand in hand will vote for them. And if you want to contact me and you have any um, questions or concerns, I can be reached at my office number is 773-702-6008, 773-702-6008. Or you can email us if you have any questions or concerns for the crew office at ucpd-crew at uchicago.edu. And also again, you wanna follow us on Facebook and it's www.facebook.com slash ucpdcrew. So this is one of the trainings that we received that's um, very detrimental to the, our community that we uh, provide. UCPD training is called crisis, convention, crisis intervention. So members of the UCPD receive crisis intervention team, which we call it CIT, and know how to interact, intervene, and safely de-escalate situations with anyone who may need a mental health evaluation. Our training program is completed by all sworn and non-sworn members of UCPD. Some sworn personnel are advanced CIT training as well. We also understanding the signs and symptoms of mental illness and co-occurring disorders. We recognize when those signs and symptoms represent a crisis. We safely de-escalate individuals experience behavior health crisis. We utilize available community resources and diversion strategies to provide emergency assistance to the person that's in that crisis. And also if you know, if you or someone you know needs emergency police assistance due to a mental health related crisis, you wanna call our number again at 773-702-8181 and ask that a crisis intervention team trained officer responds to the situation. Clearly state the crisis is a mental health issue and also a Dino call liaison will also be contacted to, uh, to offer additional uh, resources um, to help you um, through that crisis. For our safety communication, we have two different um, alerts that are sent out. Our first alert is gonna be is called C alert. And C alerts are for emergency notifications that require immediate action. For example, um, if you have to take shelter, if there's a tornado um, involved or you know you have to evacuate the campus. So that would be considered a C, a C alert that requires immediate action. And for your security alerts, those that doesn't require immediate action, that is informational only. So for example, um, the AVP might be send out and say that we just had a robbery in the area or a carjacking. So you're gonna send something out about safety, how to watch your surroundings, be safe, watch what's around you. If you see something, report it, right? And then also we have the off-campus um, crime communication methods. We send out um, every day to, uh, for the daily um, crime blog. So there's UCPD crime notices and UCPD daily crime bulletin. These are some additional services that we provide here at the Department of Safety and Security and the UCPD, our police side, the police department. Emergency, emergency phones, we went over. The C alerts and safety alerts, we went over. Um, crisis intervention team, we went over. The motor assistance program. So with our motor, <coughs> excuse me, with our motor assistance program, if you have a, uh, if you need a jump, and your car has died out or you feel like that you can't start your vehicle, uh, we do come and jump your car. So make sure you log our number in. 
whether it's cold outside, hot outside, and you need a jump, we will um, assist you. And also we have officers um, that's trained. If you lock your keys in your vehicle, we will come and help you um, unlock your vehicle. If you left your keys in the car or left something in the car that you need to get out. For bike registration, if you're a bicyclist in the area or if you're gonna be bicycling around throughout the um, campus area, we do bike registrations and that will be through me. So please make sure you take down my number and my email address that I stated earlier. But again, it's 773-702-6008. You wanna take that down for the bike registration and for the laminate barcode laptop program. So with both of those, we register your bike and we register your um, laptop. We, they're not tracking devices, but we do put a barcode on both um, your bike and your laptop. To the, it's a theft deterrent, but it's not a tracking device. The safety escort program, that's where when the officer uh, will follow you from point A to point B, and make sure that you get to where you're going safely. So we advise everyone to utilize that program as well. It doesn't just have to be late at night. It can be in the daytime, any times of the hours of the day, 24 seven. We provide a safety uh, program. We, divide, we provide a safety escort to everyone um, throughout the day, 24 seven. So anytime that you need a um, safety escort, you feeling unease or you feel like someone's watching you, following you, you see something suspicious and you feel like, oh, I just, you know, I wanna make sure I make it safe back to the dorm or back, you know, to my vehicle. We do provide safety escorts. We talked about the daytime and night ride shuttles for the um, safe zone. That's like um, the custodial exchanges. So with that, like if you, for example, if you order something off offer up or um, off the internet and you don't feel safe exchanging at your home, always use our station and our address and you can um, exchange, do the exchange here. We don't intervene with that. We do stand by and you can request us to stand by to um, do that exchange to make you feel safe. We just talked about the safe mobile app. So I hope everyone listening, please, please, please download that. It's very important that you download that safe app because we just one click of an icon away from everyone. The community engagement programs we just spoke about, the RAD self-defense program, that's rape aggression defense. So those for the women that wanna take um, self-defense classes and you can go online and sign up for that. So you just wanna go to uchicago.edu and you click on take um, self-defense class. And be mindful guys, it's two different um, categories there to sign up for. You wanna sign up for both of them because one is for the classroom session and the next one is for the actual physical hands-on touch with it. Fingerprinting services, I also do that as well. So if you wanna contact me, if you need fingerprinting, say for um, an internship or anything that you need for a job, anything like that, you can give us a call. You can give me a call at that number, um, the 773-702-6008, and then I'll schedule um, a fingerprint um, appointment. Okay, annual security and fire safety report. So the annual security and fire safety report can be found at securityreport.uchicago.edu. The report includes safety related um, categories. And the first one is gonna be the policies and procedures, resources and services, our crime statistics, um, and, and also the tips. And the UCPD daily crime fire law can be found at incidentreports.uchicago.edu. All our reports that are taken, you can um, go over them, and they're also at the same um, crimefirelaw.com. Um, so here are some safety tips and reminders that we always go over with people to make sure you know you kind of paying attention to listening here and making sure that you stay safe. So here's some safety um, tips. You wanna plan your route before you leave or let someone know kind of where you're going at all times. Stay alert to who and what is happening around you. For example, we get people that's on their phone and they looking down on their phone. You wanna keep maybe like one air um, earbud in your ear and then one out so you can kind of hear what's going on around you and kind of keep your phone put up so no one would you know, go fight class with you and take it out your hand. You never leave your property unsecure and unattended. So when you before leaving out, if you have to go to the restroom, maybe you should take your property with you 
or if you trust someone without within your surrounding area, you can ask them to watch it for you. But we always ask everybody to take it with because when you come back, it's gone. Lock your room, your residence every time you leave. So for that tip, we're asking that you lock all your doors, lock your windows. We get a lot of people that don't lock their windows to their residence. And sometimes we have someone you know might enter through that way. So at all measures, you just want to like double check before you leave out the house and just, or either, you know, wherever you stand at or the dorms, and then just make sure all the windows are closed, doors are locked. Now you want to um, program, make sure you program our number in your phone again, 773-702-8181. And also use Chicago Safe app and visit the calert.uchicago.edu to make sure you um, keep your um, information um, up to date, contact information up to date. Now, anyone have any questions or concerns for Officer Lee? All right, Officer Lee, it looks like we have a couple in the Q&A box. Okay. So one of the questions is where can you find the UGO bus schedule? You go bus schedule. That's going to be at the transit dot um U Chicago. Transit one. So it's been, it's transit Chicago dot com. Transit Chicago dot com. And we have another question um, asking okay. about the ride limits. Um, why are rides limited to two rides? To two, to two rides? No, I said the first 10 rides are free. So it's the first 10 for lift rides are free. And then thereafter, they have um, a discounted uh, rate for the lift drivers. And if anyone else has any other questions, feel free to utilize the chat box or the Q&A, and we'll be sure to have Officer Daly answer those questions while she's on. We have a question. Um, mm -hmm. Where can you sign up for the RAD self-defense courses? So again, um, you want to go to uchicago.edu. You're going to go to our website. And then you're going to click on um, um, safety classes. And then they're going to see where it says RAD. It's going to say U Chicago on RAD, U RAD. And then, then it'll see, then you will go on the um, safety course. So I don't know if you guys can see this. So this right here is one of the, my flyers that I printed out. Let's see if you guys can see it. So it's going to look like this when you pull it up on the website. But then you're going to go to the one where it says um, online sign up. You're going to, um, then it's going to say online. So you want to go there. It says online form. You're going to click on online form, and then it's going to say course registration. And when you scroll down at the bottom, it's going to say course selection. You want to click both of those. So you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to do it twice. You're going to have to fill it out twice. Remember, the first one, the one is going to be called basic physical defense course. And then one's going to be safe, S A F E, self defense awareness and familiarization exchange. So you want to fill both of those out. Because one remembers the classroom, and then one is going to be the physical hands-on. And it's going to look like this, guys. You see the you see rad. So, and, and, and additional to those courses, I mean, you mentioned that they were only for women. Are there any self-defense courses for men as well? I can get back with you uh, with that. Cool, thank you. I can follow back up with you, Alex, with that, and you can send it out. Um, I have to ask my supervisor, because I think they was just only doing it for that, but... I definitely ask for you. Cool, and we'll be sure to put that up in the Facebook or on the module. Okay. Um, we also have another question talking about the safety of the CTA transportation, um, mm -hmm. and then some students are worried that there's any routes they should avoid. Any any routes to avoid? I didn't hear you. Yeah, on the CTA, um, people are just kind of wondering about the general safety of the CTA transportation. Oh, they're um, they're um, pretty safe. They they have they have one is one that's one seventy one. 172 and 192, and they travel um, throughout the um, campus area, and they take them out the campus area and bring them back. And now they have added a shuttle bus that goes like towards the red line and the green line as well. Like people like trying to 
catch the L from downtown or trying to come back in the area. They also have a shuttle bus that goes out our extended area um, to help assist with that too. So yes, it's safe. We also have a couple of questions um, regarding curfew. Um, okay. Is there a curfew in place for students leaving their dorm rooms? No, just as long as they, if they're of age, then they're fine. If you're underage, then yeah, you probably can get stopped for curfew, but I'm sure everybody should be at least 18 years or older. Thanks. Um, so if they leave it out, the only thing I advise though, if they do leave out late and they are not kind of familiar with the area, you know, that's why I said kind of familiarize yourself with the area. You want to go on those sites and like, you know, just look around. We have maps and everything that's around without the, within the area. And also uh, if, you, if you feel like you're leaving late, uh, one, you know, uh, um, person from one dorm room to another, one of your um, other little students or another friend that you met, maybe you at North Campus and you want to go to South Campus, then just call for a safety escort. Thanks. Speaking of safety escorts, um, we have a question uh, regarding the response time to the blue lights program. Mm -hmm. um, can you just say it again how long that response time is? For the blue light program, if they if they hit the e phone, yeah. Oh, it's less than it's less than like a, a two minutes or so, a, a, probably less than that, depending if the um, office is in the area. Because we have beats, so everybody has a beat, and we have e phones throughout all of the beats. So if it's the, when they give the call, because when they hit the red button, it goes simultaneously to our um, dispatch center. And when they hit it and give them the nature of the call, then the dispatch will notify the officer and then we'll respond in the area. Sometimes an officer, for example, might say, um, squad, you can show me, it's called 23. You can say I'm 23 in the area. They already probably right there because they already driving and traveling through that area. So our response time is very, is very great. Awesome, thank you for that. Um, we have another question. I think I believe it's regarding the CTA routes. Um, okay. Do you know which routes lead to downtown? I do not. That's why they we have everyone visit um, the transitchicago.com and it lets you know all the different routes and, uh, and everything on there and the wait times and the hours of the time that they come back and forth um, within the High Park area. Nice. And then we just have a couple of general questions about mm -hmm. any general advice about going out at night, um, maybe in the city and off campus. They said in the city and off campus. Yeah. So I would just say, you know, once you plan your route, then you want to notify someone, a friend, a family member to let them know kind of where you're going. Nobody's being nosy, but your safety is important. So just let someone know where you're going. And like I said, like for that friend walk on that app, if you don't want to let the police, and you know, if you don't want us to follow you or watch you, because our dispatchers can watch you on live time as well. You can use that app and make sure a friend or a family uh, member or, you know, your uh, roommate download that app with you. And you can hit that um, icon on there, the friend walk, and they can watch you watch actually walk in live time from when you leave your dorm or if you're on your way downtown or wherever you're trying to go to get to your destination and then even on your way back. And once you're out of our area, you know, you can let someone know and then you can also call CP2 911. But when you get back in our area and you still feeling, you know, unease and it's late, just call uh, for a safety escort once you get back close to our area. And then an officer um, will meet you where you at and make sure that you get back um, to your dorm or your apartment or wherever that you stand on campus safe. That's why we push for the safety escorts so much. It's so paramount here because we just ask everybody to utilize it and we will get you where you need to be safely. Thanks for that. Um, we also have a couple of questions regarding about how to get downtown and kind of like the differences between those routes. Okay, so again, I'll have to put you guys back to the Visit Transit Chicago because there they, they, they give you the Pacific bus stops, the Pacific bus routes, the train routes, the hours and the wait times. They have different routes and wait times that maybe a train may arrive or maybe a bus may arrive. So even the shuttle bus, even if you go in there and look up for the um, U time for the um, you go time shuttle, and that one's at bus.uchicago.edu. <clears throat> Again, bus.uchicago.edu. They also have that shuttle I told you guys about that takes you a little off campus. There's an extended area now that they have to assist with everyone, uh, you know, for your, um, um, for your um, safety route. So you can even take that and then probably then get to a CTA um, bus as well to get you where you are um, going, even if, when you're getting further out the um, area. So if you take down both of those, the transitchicago.com 
and then the bus.uchicago.edu. It will map everything out there for you, all the routes, the plans, the times, the wait hours, and everything. Cool. Thanks for that. Um, we also have a couple of questions just regarding safety around the surrounding area of campus. Um, okay. Would you give some insight on that? You said safety. I'm sorry, it was buzzing. Yeah, safety around campus. Um, we have a safety couple around campus. Questions. Um, safety around campus. Um, it's, it's it's pretty safe around here. We have a lot of extra. So, <clears throat> the first um thing you have you have UCPD, which is us, the you know, University of Chicago Police Department. You also have the safety ambassadors that I spoke about early on in the slide. That was like what the second slide. So we also have the safety ambassadors that stands around on almost literally every corner about those e phones that you guys will see. There being that um yellow color vest. And you will see them or either a blue jacket when it start getting a little cooler out. And then those are another set of eyes and ears. We also have another unit that's called CSOs. Those are our community um, service um, um, security officers. They drive around campus. And then we also have um, another one that they just added over here. I don't know if you've seen it, Alex, but they have um, a great um, security car with the green lights at the top. So we have another one that drives around us with the security with the green lights at the top. And then we also have the other Ally Una um, versus the safety ambassadors that stands on the corner, but they also drive around the campus as well. So we have all these safety measures put in place on, in addition to uh, we would like everyone to use the safety escort program. And then also um, um, everyone for the um, safety ambassadors, we they even have added now into our extended um, area. So as they kind of like at our clearing area now. So even if you're coming from maybe let's say 47th, 48th, 49th, and you have to go a little closer to the north end, we even have them standing um, um, out there on the corner throughout the um, north end as well. So we have really like, you know, passed them on or passed them out of our jurisdiction to make sure everybody is safe wherever they're going or whatever they're living in, what area. Awesome, thank you for answering that. Yes. I believe that's all the questions we have. Okay. Um, if anyone else on here has any other questions, now is the time to ask. We have about 15 minutes left, um, but if you have any questions for Officer Lee and you want those answered, now is the time to ask. So we'll just kind of, kind of give you guys a minute. Yeah, you can take your time and think about it. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Whatever you guys need, I'm here for you. Awesome. Well, I think that is all the questions. Oh, it looks like we may have gotten another one. Okay, no worries. All right, looks like we're good. Okay. Um, thank you guys for spending time with us. And thank you again, Officer Lee, for giving that presentation and answering all of our students' questions. You're um, so welcome. As always, our communications will be available online. Um, if you have any other questions for us, you can feel free to reach out to us at College Programming and Orientation at college-programming at uchicago.edu. And again, this copy of the recording will be posted on the communications from the college section on the orientation website. So if you need to refer back to it at any point, you can find it. Um, Officer Lee, I don't know if you have any other inputs, but again, thank you so much for being here with us and sharing this information. Everyone is so welcome. Just welcome aboard to everyone. Make sure you utilize our services. We're, that's what we're here for. Don't think that you're bothering us. Some people think they're bothering us. No, you're not bothering us. We want you to bother us. <laughs> so just make sure that you know you reach out. If you need anything, we all, we're here for you guys, okay? Awesome. And as Whitney just put in the chat, we have a couple other virtual events coming up this month, like the virtual language fair, pre-registration webinar, personal webinars, et cetera. Feel free to take a look at all those. If you want some more information, we also have those listed on our orientation website and the Facebook groups. But other than that, thank you thanks again for everyone for joining and thank you, Officer Lee, for being here. You're so welcome. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> Everybody have a great day. <laughs>